All right, YouTube, here we are for the final round of the challenge. Um, thinking that we're going to win and then top 32, which is kind of sad, unless we get a serious breaker shift. But that would be quite impressive. I don't recognize my opponent's name, but we're on the draw, which kind of sucks. Oh, I can tighten it up. I'm a little tired. Ugh, stupid steam vents. Well, at least my opponent mulligans, so I will join them. Yeah, we're going to keep this one. We have an angler. All right, we're going to put that on top. All right, looks like we're going to be playing against Phoenix, if I had to guess, which means I want to cycle for a discard spell right now. I don't really want because like I'm gonna give myself the option to stub something here. Okay, doesn't look like anything's happening. All right, that's pretty nice. So let's play this. Crack here, get watery grave. We'll take a look, and then we'll likely just go crack and then play, uh, and then loot. Oh, am I getting remanded? All right. I'm going to get in. I guess I just get Steam Vents. We could get Blood Moon, but I, I think forcing this through is going to prevent us from getting Blood Moon. Oh, wow. Okay, I'll take the Snapcaster Mage. Opponent's hand doesn't do anything. So we're playing against Blue Red Wizards. All right, start here. I could just get rid of this Thought Seize. I kind of want to actually just ditch the Lightning Bolt. And then discard spell my opponent, go fetch, and then um, go fetch and then play Gurmag Angler, which is what I'm going to do. Okay. Glad we didn't run this Gurmag Angler into a. Uh, into a remand. Remand is such a beating against Angler. <clears throat> Alright. That kind of sucks. This means my opponent's gonna... I mean, they're left with, like, basically nothing, but... All right, let's find ourselves a threat. It's probably just Thought Seize Watery Grave. Yeah. All right. Just gonna keep passing. Save this thought seeds for you a threat. <clears throat> okay. Playing Drago. Probably should play this. I mean I doubt they play Blood Moon, but. Don't want to get cheesed. I 
this is like a click or something. I'm just gonna snap bolt the click. No, no, I tapped wrong. No, I tapped the wrong land. Ugh. Oh, that's such a kick in the balls. All right. We're going to hit this before we untap. Yeah, that was not good. I was like, oh, I tap this, this, then I have this, and I have this. <sighs> yeah, we're just going to push it. That's just me not focusing. Oh, that's annoying. Give me up a resource. All right, that's pretty awesome. It's a pretty awesome draw. All right, let's cast the Thoughtseize. That Thoughtseize might be kind of greedy. They have six points of burn in their hand. Can't cast it all, though. Okay, they're going. They're getting nimbly. <clears throat> so, deals X damage to target creature. One, two, three, four. So I kind of have to take this Harvest Fire and then dismember this right now. So they don't have a wizard. So they can't keep a wizard around. <clears throat> but I need to keep my shadow in play. I guess I could have... Oh, no. What happened here? Oh my gosh, I'm so all over the place. Now I'm just dead. Because they just go snap bolt wizards lightning me if they hit a land. Ugh. Man. <clears throat> That's not bad. That's actually really good. That might win us the game. Because I can go snap stub into push. No, I have played mediocre magic today. So now I just let this, I literally just let this resolve. I, I push this. Get in. Let this resolve. Snap stub the next spell. Because my opponent's hand is Snapcaster Mage, Wizard's Lightning, X. <clears throat> yeah, I, I have played worse and then still won. So we let this resolve, and then we counter the next spell. I hope my opponent doesn't watch my YouTube video. Okay. Crack in there. 
No, that was not good either. I've not played very good magic today. Okay. This definitely comes in. This definitely comes in. I think the rise fall comes in. I think this comes in. I think these come in. This is a bit of a weird one. I kind of want to cut my dismembers. Probably my wraiths, just treat it like a burn deck. What kind of this looting for a terminate also? Alright, we're gonna try this. Liliana is like decent, right? I mean you have to tap out on turn three for it. Like, I would like Liliana, like the problem is you have to tap out on your main phase for it, and that's just not where these games are going to be fought. These games are going to be fought on the end step. I, like, I don't want to tap out, like, I don't want to tap three mana into, into like, reman deck. Okay. All right, let's just get this off the battlefield here. Yeah, I'm much more inclined to do that. That was a nice draw. I don't really like Jace against the Bolt deck, right? So I'm not going to be able to play a Shadow this turn because it's going to get remanded. So we're going to let them cycle remand here. Whoa. Okay. Pikachu mean. I think I just get got by Blood Moon. I don't think my opponent's a Blood Moon deck. I'm gonna take the Snapcaster. I could have taken the K command. I don't really want to run my, run my shadow out against it, like an eight bolt deck here. That's too cute. Yeah. We're gonna get we're gonna get a Vendillion click or something with this Tolagon's command. I think I'm just going to end a turn Snapcaster Mage for Thought Scour. Again, I just don't want to tap mana on my turn. And if my opponent remands this, then I just go Snap Inquisition on my turn. Now, you tap mana on your main phase against this deck, you're going to lose. Like this, this is going to inevitably put me up a clock and put me on the battlefield, which is something my opponent's going to have to answer. Okay. Now I want to play two shadows, I think. Jeez. Deal. We have so much left over. 
that I'm kind of all right if one of these gets bolted. And I really doubt my opponent has fork bolt left in their deck. Kind of. Well, they, they've got a vapor snag. Okay. So the last two cards are Vapor Snag Dispel. Okay. All right, so we have to see if this shadow is ready for takeoff or not. And it is. My opponent's playing a Mana Leak, so we're going to get this shadow down underneath that. There's definitely a chance that I should have pushed this Snapcaster Mage. Yeah, I fucked up. But if my opponent goes Vapor Snag, Snapcaster Bolt, then, like, that's okay because, um, that's okay because that means our Gurmag Angler is going to be live. Because they, they have a Vapor Snag. Do I want to get them to use their Dispel? If they use their Dispel... Yeah, I should make them use their Dispel. So use your Dispel, kill my Shadow, land Girl, my Angler. They're tapped out. No, because they'll just take it. They'll just be like, alright, trade. Like this, this, this taps my opponent out, and now I can go. Because <clears throat> my opponent's the only cards in my opponent's hand is Mana Leak now. So I can go like, re, like discard, re, return Shadow here, which I kind of want to do. Or I could just go discard, return Snapcaster Mage, which is what I'm going to do. And then I'm going to play a Gurmag Angler. Then I'm, gonna, then I'm gonna play a Death Shadow. We get the card out of their hand. And now we play a 6-6. Six, six. That was a good one. Now we don't want to tap off of Vendillion Click. I'm going to terminate this Snapcaster Mage. Cause I, I could go Snap Bolt, but I just don't want to... Like, we're so far ahead, there's just no need. We might as well just like lean, keep leaning on our opponent. Like, I've got Snapcaster Mage covered. Stub that. Um... Yeah, like our opponent's just 
Super dead. They just, they weren't even about it. Yeah, it, it's all about just leaning on our opponent, I think. And that's like what I was looking to do there. Okay. So 25th, there's no way we top eight. So let's just go back and talk about the deck and um, just say, I, I think the deck's good. I, I like the list. I think the list is really smooth. Um, I lost to Jun Shadow, which is the only matchup that punished me for having the Lightning Bolt in the main deck. And I lost to Jun Shadow. And then I lost my round three match, which I don't remember, to Serum Powder. So, yeah, let's go look at Inferno. But let me just finish this up. So I think that this deck's good. I think this list is nice. It's going to be what I continue to play. Um, yeah, I had a good time playing today.